You went to Elvis's funeral and John Lennon's funeral. I take it not as an invited guest. <laughs> no, I think everybody's invited to their funeral. I'm sure they wanted everyone there. They were both uh, extraordinary things to see. Uh, I wasn't really a big Elvis guy, but I knew that there was something that would never happen again. And so I, I really hustled my way to, to, the, to Memphis, and I was the 26th person on standby on the last flight out of like midnight of, from LaGuardia to Memphis, and I got on. And I just went to the place, and I ended up befriending somebody and getting to ride in the, uh, the bus, the press bus that left Graceland right in front of the hearse. And uh, that's a long story, but it basically got to ride the funeral procession right in front of the hearse and to see people who've been parked on the side of the road waiting there for hours, sitting in the shade underneath aqueducts, waiting. And every um, Burger King and Dairy Queen and everything with a changeable sign said, long live the king, God bless the king, and we will miss you and we will love you. It was very emotional and uh, arrived at the cemetery and uh, there were helicopters everywhere and then you heard that there was a riot and people were storming the gate. Yeah. So I started running. And which way is the gate? And I started running. And I'm running 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 and I'm running. And all of a sudden, I'm stopped and all these motorcycles come around the corner and it's the, it's the hearse and I'm standing on his mother's not on, his, on her grave, but right there at the mother's grave. And every car that comes by is looking, going, there's mom, and who's that guy? You know? And uh, the cops looked at me with a look like said, if you move, we will kill you. If you make a move towards anything or anyone here, we will kill you. Yeah. And I just froze. And uh, so then I, they all rolled by, and then I ran back, and they tried to lift Elvis's casket into this thing. He had, like, hoses this high on top of this, and the casket weighed like 1,200 pounds or some incredible thing. And uh, there were like eight guys trying to lift this thing. And the casket's going, whoa, and falling, and the roses are... And, uh, you know, they almost couldn't handle it. It was a really heavy thing, you know. But I remember when Priscilla's car went off, I actually felt like a lower body thing go that way. And I realized the king went with, you know. So was it, was it more touching than it was amusing, or was it equal parts? It wasn't amusing... It wasn't really amusing because it was so sincere. It was completely mm -hmm. sincere. It was completely human. And I mean, the, the only thing that was really amusing that I can say was the thing that made me laugh was afterwards, I went back to Graceland and people were buying and selling already in a frenzy the newspapers of the day, you know? Mm -hmm. And a car rolled in with Michigan license plates on it. Was like a, it was like a... It was like a, a bone crusher or something, one of those Daytona kind of jobs where the, where the muffler had been damaged, and the car was just an absolute wreck. And there were two guys sitting in, and it would like just, like, just look like they'd been driving for four days from Michigan, and hair really all over their face and dirty and grimy, and the car pulls in, this idling, bad muffler guy looks over me and says, Is there a reception? <laughs> really said at all. I mean, people really felt like I'm here to, you know, are there going to be cold cuts, you know? And a, a different rock icon, whole different circumstances, Lennon. Oh, yeah, John Lennon. So that was a, it wasn't exactly his funeral. I think he was buried or cremated privately, but there was a funeral service in Central Park that Yoko staged, and what she wished was that um, there'd be 10 minutes of silence, you know, so... It was a strange thing to be in Central Park and all of a sudden to see recreated all these people from before the earth changed, you know? All of a sudden it was like a rock concert from 10 or 15 years before and there are people, it was like Zapata's army in a strange, in a very mm -hmm. real sense. You went, my God, look at him. I haven't seen him or, or this type of person. All these people who just came out of wherever they'd been for 10 or 15 years and you just felt like an army that was reassembling because the general had asked you to be at this place. And it was an incredible feeling like you were being pulled on a string to the place, to the place where it was. And I was with my wife and we were pulled into this place and pulled into this place and we collided 
with this friend of mine and his wife, two of our uh, close friends. And it was like we were supposed to be right there, you know? So then there was this service, which was supposed to be 10 minutes of silence. So people sat <clears throat> in silence. Only you heard these helicopters everywhere, you know? And they didn't seem to move. They seemed to be absolutely frozen, of course. And there was total silence. And then the service the service ended, uh, the silence ended, and it just ended with the playing of the first, uh, with Imagine, with that piano coming mm -hmm. in over it. And it just, it just tore you apart. It just, you, in tear, every, all of a sudden, everyone was crying. It was like that beautiful piano part and Imagine There's No Heaven, and people just went. They just fell apart. And then it began to snow for no reason at all. Just like after Belushi's funeral, it began to snow for no reason at all. It wasn't in the forecast. It wasn't really cold enough. There were no clouds. It just began to snow. Sweet dreams can be we had Bill Murray here on Thursday and again tonight, and we talked about a lot of things, but we didn't get to the movies. We didn't get to Caddyshack, and we didn't get to Meatballs, and we didn't get to Tootsie or whatever, so uh, rent them. And if he comes back again, we'll talk about him then. You want to resume with Van Morrison? Okay. He's been with us uh, each of the last two nights. We, we never really had that before, sort of a, a musical background, something of a first. That's what I was thinking, actually, yeah. So, thank you. Thanks a lot. I have fun. Mm -hmm. Bill Murray, we're gone. See you later. Thank you.